Hey everyone, uh, Russ, Kay, and, and Dry Coast. It's good to be with you here today in Krata. And I figured it would be fun to see how quickly we could throw together a version of Meta's iconic hacker square. Yeah, yeah no problem. Oh, okay. That sounds a great idea. So Kay and, and Dry Coast, how do you both get into Krata? So my journey in Krata started a couple of years ago when I did a degree in illustration, animation, and game concept. And one of my friends mentioned Krata, and now I'm really enjoying it. Awesome. Well, I mean, it seems like you've gotten pretty quick at this. Um, yeah, I think it's because Krata is so easy to use. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I really love about this is the idea of being able to design a space or design a game from inside of the space or game. Dry Coast, what, what, what's, um, how'd you get into this? So I randomly found a stream that was showing Krata when it was released, I gave it a shot and I, I grabbed the grow tool and I started sort of sculpting the landscape. That got me kind of hooked in and I've been part of the community since it's been around. I like they're just casually bringing in all of these buildings into Hacker Square. Oh look, there's the there's the big Jumbotron and there's the, the red bridges. Well, I think we should probably throw in the meat shack, the barbecue shack. You like barbecue? Everyone knows I love the meats. <laughs> yeah, That's good. Let's check out these. I mean, these trees look very detailed. Historically, if you wanted to have something like this run in you know, this high quality of a 3D environment, and that would be really hard to render in a browser or you know on, on phones. But being able to do it with cloud infrastructure and then uh, just send it down across the network after having already rendered it in the cloud is a pretty big advance. Since I've gotten into game development, my nephew has, has, has piqued his interest in it as well. And one of the biggest barriers for him was he didn't have a very powerful computer. So the, the cloud gaming uh, aspect of it was appealing because he could jump right in without having to worry about that first barrier of, of hardware specifications. And when I started building things when, when I was a kid, it was you know, first I got a computer, started playing games, and then started writing games and, and developing, and then from there started coding other things. So. I'm, I'm, you know, really excited about giving people more tools to, to build games. You know, I think what we could really use is a Kraken. So if you want to press the um, tab key, we might actually have a surprise for you. You know, a lot of times today, I think people think about the metaverse as you know, 3D experiences that you can have in virtual and augmented reality. But I think what Krata shows is that you can both build and enjoy these kind of experiences um, really easily on all kinds of 2D environments, including just within the Facebook app on phones and, and on computers. All right, thanks all. I think this is, um, this is super exciting. I'm, I'm really grateful for you all stopping by and doing this with me today.